Hello and welcome to today's very important life lessons uh, instructional video. In this video we're going to learn how to create a duct tape suit that you can wear on all different types of occasions to weddings, church uh, events, funerals. Uh, we're going to be creating a very stylish duct tape jacket uh, as well as matching pants and uh, even uh, a very uh, appropriate duct tape tie which you may need for some of the fancier occasions in your life. So let's take a look at how to accomplish this task. And if at any point in the video you become overwhelmed or don't understand something I've taught you, just rewind the video and watch it again. And eventually you will be a duct tape expert ready to create your own garments. So let's get started. Let's begin with the pants, shall we? Of all your duct tape garments, you'll want to take this part most seriously. If you have a wardrobe malfunction with, say, your duct tape tie or your duct tape hat, no biggie, but if you get it wrong in the pants, you could be in for a world of trouble, especially if you're at a job interview or at church. So let's talk about how to do the pants right, um, because if you get it wrong, you might have a really bad day. So the basic principle with duct tape garments is that you just take a regular pair of pants and you just plaster them in duct tape. It's really not that complicated, but there are a few tricks that you'll want to know so that you can actually walk in your duct tape garment which, by the way, weighs about 50 times more than the original jeans. So what you want to do, if these were non-duct tape pants yet, you would lay them out and just create long strips of duct tape, observe, lay them flat and just run strips one after the other over the entire pair of pants. Now I do want to warn you, Making a duct tape garment could be very costly, and I don't just mean in terms of your popularity at school. A roll of duct tape could cost anywhere from $4 at a cheap dollar store, all the way up to $6 for brand name duct tape. So if it's Christmas time, you might want to ask mom and dad to give you a couple rolls of duct tape, because to create a whole garment from head to toe could run you maybe three or four rolls. So budget now, kiddos. So after you've created your pants, you just run strips down one after the other. Also, I want to point out, leave room for the belt holes and don't run your duct tape close your pockets because you'll need your pockets for accessories like your camera and uh, other things that you carry in your pockets. Now note the crisp artistic job that we've successfully accomplished with these rear pockets. They are, they look perfect. I mean, they look like they came from the store this way because they're laid out so nicely and executed with such artistic skill and craftsmanship. So that's the first thing you want to do. Lay out your pants, cover them with duct tape, and then make sure you don't tape over the zipper and uh, the belt loops. And also a word about pant legs. I had to cut mine open a little bit because after I put the duct tape on, they ceased being flexible and uh, they were really constrictive and I felt a little claustrophobic. So you might want to cut yours and add a little room. Let's move on, shall we? 